Okay, we're at the uh, Queensland Caravan and Camping Show um, at our good friend's stand here, uh, Stony Creek. And we've come over to check out the new 19. This thing has impressed us. Hasn't it impressed you, Michelle? Oh, yes. Yeah, so, well, can, can we trade up? Can we trade up? We'll do a, a swap. <laughs> Maybe we can uh, we can tow the 19 out well, of the Birdsville. Why don't you take it inside and have a look and people let's, um, let's go and have a look. So, all of the usual gear, uh, four burners, cooker, picnic table, power outlets, nice big windows. I assume it's got two spares. Yep, two spares. And there's all your controls just on the inside there. Big step up <clears throat> and a nice big fridge on the inside, which none of the other Stonies have. Well, wine in there too. <laughs> yeah, leave it alone, Michelle. And a freezer and plenty of storage. Plenty of storage. Um, yeah, she wants me to show you her favourite, which is the slide out pantry. So there's plenty of room, nice big kitchen, lots of headroom. Big windows, lots and lots of cupboard space. It's got a four burner here as well. That's a four burner and a full oven. And it's a four burner? Yeah, four oven. Burner. And uh, so I guess that's pantry? No, you've got the slide up pantry. That's the oh, yeah. Oh, wow. That's a lot of. Plus you've got storage. Storage and a lot of keys still. <laughs> but you've got storage beside the bed as well. Storage beside the bed. And down there. Above the bed. Down there. Below the bed. And you can probably lift up the bed too and Hello. storage Hello. under there. <laughs> uh, queen size bed as opposed to the king size, but um, good enough. Thought it was about time we did a uh, Scout 15 walk around. We haven't really done one on our van and uh, we've done plenty of mods. So uh, thought I'd, uh, I'd show you what they are. Everybody's always asking on the Facebook page. And yeah, I sort of always forget to um, put the photos up. So thought I'd make this little video. So I'll show you around. Let's go. So we'll start at the front, uh, right from the, uh, the draw bar and on the drawbar, we will start with this little uh, Kovix uh, lock. You know, when it's parked up somewhere, I always put the uh, the lock on. The van's also got uh, a Y-tie alarm system, but uh, the more you can discourage people, the better, in my opinion. Okay, uh, did away with the um, jockey wheel and got the Extreme Off-Road Arc 750 which um, is a much more sturdy jockey wheel as you can see yeah you've got the 20 kilos that um, is always on the draw bar then but um, you know you've got what 12 kilos with a standard jockey wheel somewhere in the back of the ute anyway so um, you've always got that uh, that weight somewhere in your in your rig in your setup okay oh, I put um, this little plastic box on the front to put the jerry can holder this is a petrol jerry can holder and uh, we just keep that for the um, for the generator but I wanted to keep any fuel well away from underneath the van or uh, and not using the um, the jerry cans that come with the van speaking of which here are the jerry cans that, uh, well, one of them, because it, one cracked. Um, I spray painted one, as you can see, uh, for use that for grey water under the kitchen. 
so uh, it's grey, or it was. But anyway, yeah, you can uh, I can always identify which one's for the dirty water under the kitchen, and the other one is um, for clean water. Now I moved the um, the jerry can holders off the back and mounted them here on the front of the toolbox and as they're not carrying any weight they're literally attached to the toolbox they would have been resting on the drawbar but that's where I had uh, mounted a um, my tent poles previously I have since moved those which I'll show you in a minute as we're doing a bit of beach camping yeah, we need the um, um, not max tracks these ones are uh, trek I think they're called trek uh, treads, treads they are, T-R-E-D-S, treads. So we've got a pair of those on the van and a pair of them on the car and a spare pair in the car. So there's six wheels covered. Um, I bought this uh, aluminium uh, ladder, which I just use a couple of rubber straps to hold it on. And uh, I used to have a three-step step ladder just so that you know you can jump up there and release the hooks on the uh, on your pop top but uh, I found that this what's about a five step aluminium step ladder was well and truly less than half the weight of your standard uh, three step step uh, step ladder thing so chuck that and uh, got one of those and we keep our uh, hoses just in a bag here um, you know usually they're wet and you don't want to put them away with all the uh, all the dry stuff so uh, what 20 buck bag from uh, from Kings and just clips on you're probably wondering what uh, this piece of uh, conduit is for well the conduit I use to put a, uh, a pool scoop pole in a pool scoop pole I hear you say yeah that's what I put my um, uh, Wi-Fi um, internet antenna on the top of that and it's directional so you know I can get up to 35 kilometers as I did at the Big Red Bash um, just uh, with a di directional antenna so you know if you want uh, to reach those sort of distances you've got to have a directional antenna and you've got to know where you're going to point it so I'll uh, put some more uh, information in this video on that another thing I did in this front storage is I removed the slide now you can see there's a lot more room in there now um, the slide weighs 20 kilos by itself and uh, so our generator is in there and not in the toolbox why would I put the generator there because it's moving more weight back from the front further to the back so that's why the generator's in there um, and our gas bottles are literally still in here where the uh, gas bottles originally came and not on the drawbar as you can see because I'm using that for other things as you can see okay so uh, just looking up where are we that little box there that little box there is a bit tough to open sometimes ah there we go that is my external input for that directional antenna I just spoke of. So I put the uh, directional antenna on the pole up there, goes in there and connects to the Mobin on the inside. Again, which I'll show you in a minute. Put one of these covers on, the uh, hot water system cover, that plastic cover. We've lost about three of those and they're not cheap. 75 to 100 bucks each to replace so decided to put one of those things on to uh, help stop it uh, blowing off so far we haven't lost another one so what's that elastic up there well that's exactly that it's just a piece of elastic and I put it around the the pop top so that uh, when you pull it down it pulls the uh, the PVC in and it doesn't get caught in the scissor which uh, a couple of people have had happen so doesn't happen to me 
Okay, I know this just sort of looks like the back of a 15 standard, but uh, it's not. See, uh, when we got ours, we had uh, one spare wheel on the front and one spare wheel on the back. So, I had a local fabricator take the original um, uh, mount off the back here and um, change it so that it holds two wheels. And uh, so now it does. It's a little bit different to others and the uh, brake light indicators are a little bit further on the inside whereas uh, I'd like them further outboard if I could uh, do that and look I've just been a bit lazy I can do that um, and down there you there's the uh, the tube for the tent poles so pretty easy to do just uh, put one of those on there all good Something else I've done is I removed those, uh, they look like bumpers or I believe they're steps and I put some recovery hooks on both sides. Um, now I don't like the welding on uh, onto the chassis, I don't think it's really reinforced and I really wouldn't snatch from them. But if you get stuck and you use a uh, snatch strap gently, or, uh, or a winch and just uh, uh, pull your van back slightly, uh, I think that'd be okay. Something else I did is I took the uh, uh, standard um, uh, legs off and I replaced them with these Boss stabilizers. It's got a gearbox in it and you can, um, in theory, jack the whole van off the ground by using these things. Now, there's a couple of things with that. Uh, firstly, you've got to be careful about what length you buy of these things because uh, you buy them too long and obviously uh, when you put them down, they're too long. Uh, you buy them too short and no, they won't jack off the ground. Now, you can get extensions for them, which is a little difficult to use because uh, you can imagine trying to put the extensions in um, and then dropping the leg and it makes it too long then. Anyway, those dilemmas. Now the other thing when you're trying to jack this up is when it, it takes the weight of the van, your drill gets to the end of its um, uh, ability and uh, the, the drill clutch cuts in and uh, your drill won't lift it up. So you've got to get a drill with a very high torque rate and um, I've done that, but not really with that much success. Now, what's that dog doing? Oh, yeah, that dog is uh, chewing up a palm from. Gets a bit crazy when I don't play with him. Yeah, well, he'll have to stay crazy for a minute. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, and the other thing is you cannot use a rattle gun on there. Or it's, you'll destroy the, uh, the gearbox. So it says drill only. When I was going out to the bash, um, out at Birdsville, I got some shade cloth and I stretched it all over the uh, the back here to cover everything and just used some turnbuckles. The dog's at it again. Um, yeah, just use these turnbuckles here to uh, tighten it up, front and back. And uh, I had no damage. Now I did one here and one under the front, which is gone because it filled up with rocks and um, it came off. Anyway, um, you can also see there the Lovells suspension upgrade. Now, that's definitely, definitely something that I would recommend. What are you doing, Sam? Hey, you exhausted? Hey, it's his favourite spot underneath the caravan where it's cool. Okay, Lovells upgrade done and. Um, noticeable it's uh, not as bouncy and um, yeah not a big expense I'm happy and still on the outside um, at the back we've got this uh, wireless camera uh, from uh, JCAR so there's just 12 volts going up there 
um, there's a switch inside the van to turn the power onto it and uh, then there's just a little screen and cigarette lighter plug in the car and um, you can see what's behind you yeah 289 bucks hell of a lot cheaper than the uh, those very expensive safety dive things that you got to run cables and everything yeah safety dives are very good and you get a very good picture but um, all I need to know is that there's a car behind me or not or a truck or uh, or when I'm reversing uh, am I going to hit anything so uh, 289 bucks instead of uh, a grand or more uh, sounds like a better option to me we added a drop down picnic table which can't open at the moment because I haven't got the key with me um, a TV cradle 12 volt socket and um, some antenna inputs here wow, like these things are so hard to open sometimes so I've got one for terrestrial TV if I want an external antenna and one for the satellite dish um, and I have a satellite dish uh, automated one on my car or I can just take a tin dish internal modem um, I've got a roof mounted uh, antenna up there as well as uh, inputs for the directional antenna and this works a treat so there's the cigarette lighter socket for the modem just down in there this is the latest addition this is the uh, internet antenna um, just mounted in front of the crappy little TV antenna that doesn't get very good signal but um, you know we watch a lot of YouTube and so that's just seeker flexed on um, and uh, yeah no leaks all good I've left enough room for some additional solar panels at a later date but to do that I'll need to upgrade my solar charger because only maximum capacity of 500 watts so I've still only got the two original and I use a solar blanket and that takes me up to 500 watts so if I want to add um, any more solar panels then I'm going to need like a thousand watt uh, solar charger and so will you if that's what you're intending to do I carry a second TV here um, because uh, if you want to take this one outside you've got to disconnect all the cables and everything else and plug it just a hassle no not doing that I added another uh, cigarette lighter socket and USB point down here because we bought a little um, uh, brass monkey uh, fridge there we go. and this brass monkey is a little 12 volt up and it even has a uh, lithium battery in it there you go so it'll just keep running um, without it being plugged in so that's it's really good we took it to the big red bash and it worked a treat it's really good it's just charging now um what's happened inside inside not a lot of changes inside we haven't removed the cupboards up there because you only hit your head once and then um then you know where it is your head that is um my wife got all these fusion locks to hang everything up and i think that's pretty much what everybody does uh, puts fusion locks everywhere for everything and we had stony creek do a, um, a shower head rose up there in the shower it's a much better location yeah something i uh, forgot to mention is that we did a lithium upgrade so we've got three 100 amp hour uh, renergies in there and um, once you go to lithium you'll wonder why you didn't do it sooner uh, AGMs just um, yeah they're just not that flash anymore lithium is the only way to go and we have a uh, a Victron charger and a Victron uh, BMS that monitors the um, the voltage the usage and it connects to Bluetooth to your phone so uh, can highly recommend that as well we got this uh, storage thing from um, from Kings. Just keep your, you know, block out and your um, 
you know, cards and bits and pieces and uh, fly spray and that. All good. And uh, I've got this little cover on the uh, awning thing so don't knock it and accidentally open it, which was happening. YTD Industries sell those. Uh, they're the same place that sell those. Um, they sell those uh, mounts or the plastic things that go in and hold your um, your kitchen um, over the hot plates. You know what I mean. And one more little mod that I've done is a vast satellite decoder mounted on the back of the TV there. So I've got the uh, inputs on the side of the van. So they just run up to the satellite dish and... Um, yeah, we've got uh, satellite TV everywhere. And this uh, little $49 fan. Just picked it up from Rotec Marine. And it's a lot cheaper than the Sirocco fans. And uh, works just as well. $49. Too good. Hopefully we'll see you out there. Bye for now.